everyone welcome back so today we are going to see few journals which are paid and unpaid as well as for multidisciplinary computer science education almost all their domains so we are going to see few journals which are relevant to you okay so watch till the end so that i'll be discussing about many things like what are the various important uh, factors you should consider before submitting your article to any of the journal okay so watch till the end let me just go ahead with the first journal which is international journal of technology so it's still in scopus that is 2010 to 2025 i'm releasing this particular video in the month of august 2025 if you are watching this video after two months or three months please go ahead and check again in the scopus database why because it will be often changing at least quarterly one so it is always recommended to go to this particular website and look for the changes if any changes are there please go ahead and check whether this particular journal is still indexed in scopus database or not okay so this is the first thing which you have to see whenever you plan to publish your paper okay so you have to look into this particular year and the next thing which you have to check is what the subject area multidisciplinary engineering uh, general engineering business management and accounting business management and strategy management so these if your article falls under any of these particular uh, subject then you can directly go ahead and check for the complete information in this particular journal homepage okay so in this journal homepage you can see that they are charging nearly thousand dollars for article processing and they are taking only seven days for the first time to decision and 28 days review time they are taking and 85 days submission to acceptance that is so when you are submitting your paper so you are submitting your paper for uh, the first review to the acceptance and everything it is taking 85 days that is complete thing okay so review time they are taking 28 days and if you wanted to publish your paper soon then you have to go ahead with this this is what i can say okay so this is the one and here you can see that there is a publication policy author guidelines this is very important to check because author guidelines there you will understand what are the various factors and what is a template you have to go ahead with and what plagiarism checking policy they are seeing so they are using authenticate and or turn it in okay and then if you just scroll down you can see the publishing policy here language and everything what is the template for this okay so they are also giving you the template here this tutorial okay some template here and if you just scroll down you can also find more and more information here for the acceptance okay this is another important thing now how many issues per year here you can see it's a q2 journal okay this is a q2 scopus journal and on the top you can see if you want to find how many issues per year you can see all issues go to the issues and then click on all issues where you can see that in 2025 they have already published one two three four i think six publication per year okay so they are publishing six issues per year so it will be good that they will publish it soon and you can see here what is the focus and scope of the journal you can find the field of study as architecture, chemical, civil, electrical, industrial, material and mechanical engineering. The subject of the paper is contributed may cover. So these are the various topics they are covering. Okay, so we are going to the next one. Next is journal, which the name is Journal of Indian Institute of Science. You can see from, uh, from 1974 and till now it is there in scopus and you can see the publisher is iis indian institute of institute of science and it's mentioned like multidisciplinary so we have to go ahead and check the complete scope of the journal here so this is what journal of indian institute of science so if you go ahead and check um they are taking nearly 40 days submission to the first decision and it's a median time and you can see the five year impact factor is this and then if you just scroll down you can see here that um, we can just go ahead to the for, uh, for authors and you can see submission guidelines. Okay. I think there is no cost because it's a Springer. So there won't be any cost involved if you want to go ahead with the open access. If you wanted to make your paper available for everyone, then you have to pay something or else there is no publication charges. You can see this is open access publication. So you can find all the author's title, how your title should be your um, uh, 
abstract and everything there is no specific so they have given the latex template here you can go ahead and check before that let us find the scope of the journal here about the journal you can see aim and scope if you just click on this aim and scope you can find what are the scope of this journal okay multidisciplinary reviews uh, review of all disciplines of science you can see it's all disciplines of science engineering and technology in 2000 uh, in 2007 okay so you can find that is all discipline of science engineering and technology and if you click here articles you can see volumes and issues how many article per year they are just accepting so this is four issues per year okay and they have already mentioned that this is what their scope like uh, in the home page you can find that this is their uh, uh, average time they are taking to publish your journal so you can just directly go ahead and submit your article here let us go to the next one that is journal of multidisciplinary applied natural science it's also there in scopus as of now i am seeing but you have to check again and uh, this is the this is subject area multidisciplinary environmental science material science and chemistry so you can see here they that they are not charging anything okay for like it's a freely available online to make it possible there is an article processing charge and the article processing charge is 600 rupees sorry 600 usd so the thing is like you have to first go ahead and submit your article if you wanted to make it fast track you have to pay additional 300 usd and if it is like um if you wanted to get you can also ask for wave off like for the submission you can also ask for wave off how to check it go to my um playlist go to my uh, channel you can find the playlist here just go ahead and search for all about research playlist if you scroll down you can see all about research this is the playlist if you just click on this all about research playlist you can find just go ahead and search control f and then search for editor so the letter to the editor you can request for wave off okay how to ask for wave off so you can just complete it you can just submit it okay so this is what you can go ahead and other than that what is the issues and everything you can just go ahead to the home page you can find they are publishing three issues per year and you can see that they are covering these uh, topics i we have already discussed about the topic okay so these are the field that is um biological and environmental science chemical and material science physical science and mathematical science okay these are the things let us just go to the next one which is uh, relc journal 1970 till 2025 so it has a strong a strong base that it will be in in, in scopus okay so you can see it's an arts and humanities language linguistics social science and social science education you can see this is a sage journal and if you just go ahead and check for submission they are selling there is no fees payable to submit or publish in this journal and uh, open access options are available you can see below okay and if you want to see the issues like how many issues per year so i think it's a four issue per year already okay three issues per year they have already published two issue and the third issue is waiting so they will be publishing the third issue in the month of december okay so just check whether your paper is in the scope you can just submit it and finally education technology and society this also covers sociology and political science education and general engineering so just go ahead to this you can see there is a five year impact and you can find there is no fee okay there are no fees are collected for the publication submission and subscription no fees they are expecting nothing so you can just go ahead and check the author guideline so you can download the document template okay and then you have to follow these things when you are publishing it fine so these are the important things which you have to consider and you can also check for the announcement for the latest special issue if you can submit for any special issues you can submit here as well and don't forget to check, check for the scope of the journal like what are the various other scopes they are just accepting what type of paper they are accepting whether it is like a research paper survey paper what type of paper they are accepting you should also check that and they are publishing four issues per year you can find it here four issues and it is ready to go so you can submit your paper here they are asking you to submit their paper online just click here submit your paper they'll be telling you like what is the i have read the checklist so what is the checklist they have given so it should be apa reference style anonymous manuscript title page everything so once you are done you can just go ahead create a account here and submit it okay
So if you have any queries, comment your query below. I'll be happy to assist you. Take care. Stay safe. Stay safe. Bye-bye. Have a great day.